Howdy folks, this video is all about the latest mods I've made to my um, Skywalker 1830, or it used to be the Skywalker 1830. Um, I've made quite a few changes to it over the uh, months that I've owned it. Uh, I, initially I crashed it really badly and ripped apart the, the big alien head fuselage and put it back together again. Then I um, found that it was just too big to handle too big to to transport in my car without taking it apart so i chopped the wings down turned it into a rubber band tie down um, the wings were 1830 millimeters now they're 1600 millimeters i shortened the tail boom by about what 150 millimeters as well but it used to be a, a pusher setup with an enormous big alien head the wings sitting up here and the pusher motor here and it had enormous battery carrying capacity, way more than I could ever use. And it was, it was quite good, but occasionally it had sort of odd flying characteristics. Um, and that was because of the, the big draggy fuselage and the uh, pusher motor. Um, it, I just didn't like the way it flew sometimes. So here's my latest hack. I shaved off the top of the fuselage. Uh, put the wing right down on the sort of the, the floor level of what was the previous fuselage. Changed it from a pusher motor to a tractor motor. And this is sort of my um, aerial photography workhorse plane, I guess. It's a very good, slow flying, stable platform to uh, test out cameras and FPV gear and things like that. I'll just show you what I've done here. I've just got a, a core plast cover over uh, this deck here and just has a battery sitting on the top a couple of bits of ply plywood just to hold the battery in there nice big 60 amp plush ESC I've got the receiver over here I still have more space under here that I haven't used at all uh, but I don't really need that I guess I might even put a return to home system a bit of a sort of a stabilizer autopilot although I don't use those things very much so that looks a bit ugly I suppose but it works very very well that's just velcroed up there like that the motor is a 35 36 1300 kv with a 9 by 6 prop that gives it plenty plenty of power uh, i've got a 4s battery in there at the moment 4s 3000 with a tractor setup it's it's very quiet and um, very smooth flyer very very much in control really nice big uh, control surfaces and a nice big tea tail and this is a, a nice sort of strongly made tea tail too so that works very well so this motor comes from the uh, ripple sea plane so that's been dunked in the water a bit so the bearings a little bit noisy but it's still working beautifully 10 inch wing cord tapering down to nine inches at the tip but enormous wing area and tail area as well i found that uh, putting cameras on this plane it's so forgiving that uh, I didn't have to rebalance it at all I put the Mobius out on the wingtip didn't bother balancing it on the other wingtip here it flew fine I put the Mobius up on the tail didn't bother shifting the uh, center of gravity it just handled it without a problem at the moment I've got a 4S3000 in the nose which probably makes it a little bit nose heavy I guess so that's why I can put a Mobius on the tail and not make it too tail heavy I swapped it for a 3S3000 and still didn't move the uh, center of gravity back far enough to make any difference. It's just a, a super forgiving, uh, super stable, plenty of power, plenty of lift, easy, easy plane to fly, rough, rugged, a real workhorse. So let's go and have a look at uh, how it flies. Here we are ready to go down at the field. It looks a bit ugly. I've got a bit of finishing off to do, I suppose. Uh, so I have a 4S, 4, uh, 4S 3000 LiPo in there, all up flying weight about 1650 grams. Takes off easily under 4S. Uh, we've got a quite a stiff breeze, about 10 to 15 knots, gusting even stronger. So it's stronger than usual uh, flying conditions. Most people wouldn't fly in this sort of wind. But the Skywalker laps it up, no problems at all, plenty of power. The big wing handles the, the wind no problems at all. It can float around quite slowly and then it's got plenty of power to go vertical and uh, aerobatic enough, enough control to just flip it over into a loop. Loops no problems at all. Flies inverted easily as well as we'll see later on. Turn around in tight circles without a problem. 
you can bang it down for a landing without any problems, take off again. <laughs> this plane is rugged enough to take it all. Don't have to uh, treat it gently at all. Bit of a more gentle touch and go this time. Bit more in control. Into the wind these things are very easy because it just sort of pops up off the ground. And coming in for a gentle landing. I don't know. Flyby. Slow flyby into the wind. Coming in for a landing and I think this is, oh this is the catch, yes. <laughs> Just grabbed it on the end of the wing and as long as I keep spinning it's not going to break the wing off in my hand. Now time for some cameras and as I said before this plane it's so forgiving, I could just plonk the Mobius out on the wingtip without balancing it on the other side and it was no problems at all. Up on the tail without moving the battery at all as well, didn't make any difference. Another bounce off the ground. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit rough. I really like this view looking back past the tail over into a loop, bit of inverted, it's got so much power and lift that uh, it does this sort of stuff without any problems at all. Another loop, bit of a roll, had a bit of rain lately so that water has come back again. So that's the heavily modded uh, Skywalker 1830 which is now one of my favourite planes. Plenty of power, plenty of lift, great plane to fly.